Not now. Not now. Not. Uh, asshole? Okay, that was a little weird. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. Haircut, you know, I'm doing pretty great today too because Microsoft has officially launched the Surface Duo and I have one here in my layer right now. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty freaking excited about this one. I've been avoiding other people's reviews because this is a first reaction kind of impressions type episode. I will do a full review later, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted my first impressions to be untainted. Here we go, beautiful box. On the side we have the specs. Surface Duo, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 120 gigabytes of RAM. Sorry, that's storage, I'm an idiot. I don't know why it says go though. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, pop the cherry on this thing. All right, Microsoft Surface Duo. This is officially my second Android phone. And my first one was the Google Pixel 4a, and this is also my first Surface device, actually. Let us enjoy. I'm not gonna do the Space Odyssey theme. That's just overdone. Let's do... Hey, there we go. That is a pretty box. Oh man, that's beautiful. You know, I'm gonna set you, I'm gonna set you right there, just. Anyway, there it is on the inside. Pretty thin. I mean, considering it's a foldable, I think it's about four and a half millimeters per tablet and you sandwich it together, it's about nine millimeters, I think. And I heard it's all glass too, so that's gonna feel pretty nice. Let's. Uh, do everybody's favorite part. Whoa. <laughs> it look, it's, it's a little dusty. There's like dust on the glass. I don't know how that happened. I guess it wasn't in a super clean environment, but it is really shiny. I will give it that. All right. Oh, we got to Oh, hang on. It's on the inside. Here we go. Take that off. All right. Close it up for now. Just gonna, I just kind of want to keep everything kind of organized there. Okay, we'll revisit that in a sec. Got the inside here with the bumper. That's right, it comes with a bumper. I totally forgot about that. Specifically designed to protect your device because it is all glass. So I'm getting flashbacks to the iPhone bumper with the whole antenna gate situation. Just kind of goes around it like that. Um, and I guess we could do that, but that kind of takes away from the elegance of it, in my opinion. I mean, I'll test it out because I got to do a full review anyway. But first impressions, reactions, whatever. Let's just be like, yeah, let's stick with the glass. You know, we're, we're, we're glassy people. My screensaver went off. Huh. Okay, so we have this little power brick. Pretty simple, minimalist, and a USB-C on there, 18 watts. And there's a lot of dust and schnibbles on this too. Like what the heck happened? There's like, like little bits of like debris <laughs> on my stuff. Very odd. So, man, I never thought I'd spend uh, like $1,400 on an Android device, but uh, here we are. <laughs> this is, um, this feels really nice. I know it's a first gen device. It's not gonna be perfect. I get it. I'm here for the misadventures. That's what the show is. But it does feel, I'm just trying to get the dust off it. It does feel really good. Holy cow. Wow. This is actually really pleasant to hold. <laughs> Let's open this baby up. And flips around so you can use single screen. And um, again, I haven't really looked a whole lot into this yet because I wanted to save my reactions, but I think there's different modes like, you know, like tent mode or whatever it's called. So you can like prop it up and watch uh, your uh, Netflixes and your Hulus and whatnot. But yeah, so like the side has like this kind of like soft touch. I don't know if it's like silicone or what, but it feels softer. And then this hinge, not 100% sure what it's made of, but probably stainless steel or something. So here's an interesting thing. Microsoft seems to be taking a different route with the whole foldable thing. Like on the Samsung phone, the whole screen folds. So I'm guessing the screen has to be made of a softer material for that to happen. But Microsoft's approach is two different screens with a hinge so they can stick to glass. So two different approaches there, and this is the way Microsoft is going. Could be pretty slick. 
but there it is. That is one thin device. Oh my gosh, there's the freaking USB-C port. It's almost too thin to hold the USB-C port. This is gonna be fun to show off to people. <laughs> you get angry on a phone call now, you could probably do the angry hang up thing like in the old flip phone days. I'm done talking to you. And then boom, shove that in your pocket. Okay, how do we turn it on? Let us witness this together. Ooh, we got something. Microsoft logo. That's a good start. Hey, powered by Android. So we got the best of both worlds there. All right, it looks like it's ready to set up. So let's go ahead, set it up and take it for a quick test drive. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the screen. Yeah, that is a, I know I'm only on like this part, but it's, it's sharp. Definitely gets a little bit orange off axis like that. That's probably normal for these types of panels, but yeah, that is a really sharp display. Wow, I'm just, oh, okay. oh, oh, hang on. Okay, <laughs> double tap to switch screens. Okay, so now that screen is on and you can double tap to switch to that screen. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's nothing on it. Um, oops. Okay, now we know not to do that, at least on the setup screen. Wow, that looks so pretty. I just wanted to get another look at how thin this thing is. I mean, even when it's closed, it's still pretty thin, but each individual side is like half my pinky. This thing, that is nice. All right, so here we are on setup. We'll do English. Setup mobile network, insert the SIM card if you have one. I mean, yeah, you can use this as a phone, obviously, but with the SIM card there, but uh, no, I'm gonna skip that for now. This would be pretty big, in my opinion, to use as a phone. It's really more of a tablet. Ooh. So we have a little bit of a vibration for like haptics, it seems, when you press the button. And you have the software sound effect too. All right, we'll just connect to the layer Wi-Fi. Not the, no, that's not how you spell that, layer, there we go. Oh, fingerprint. There's a fingerprint scanner on here? <laughs> All the things I'm learning, okay, pin. Oh, oh, it's this little divot on the side here. Okay, eh, that's not too shabby. For now, we're not really, you know, gonna be locking our device much, so we'll skip that for now. Okay, go to your home screen, swipe quickly, swipe up quickly from the bottom of the screen when your Surface Duo is in landscape. Oh, when your Surface Duo is in landscape, swipe left. Oh, okay. This will take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it'll be pretty easy to go back. Okay. All right, well, let's have some fun with this. Boom, we are on the home screen with our black wallpaper, I guess. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we got the Milky Way. Okay, so I do like the way this looks so far. Pretty clean. Looks like we have Edge, OneNote, Outlook, call messages, cameras, and uh, some other applications on here as well. But yeah, when you swipe, it does cross yeah, onto the other side, that is pretty slick. Okay. Okay, yeah, and you can pull down to get to a search. And the search in the keyboard occupies this screen while that screen just uh, does its thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, this is different. This is different. Um, it's fun, though. It's a nice little, like, batch of surprises. Well, uh, I'll probably put my own wallpaper on here eventually, but let's see what's included. Actually, I'm gonna try. So can I like move, uh, yeah, yeah, that was pretty easy. But yeah, we have some other ones we could use. Ooh, this one looks pretty cool. Ooh, that's slick. Oh, swipe up, right? There we go. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, I wonder how well this will work with some of my own pictures, but uh, yeah, I'll test that out soon. But yeah, it looks like we have a little bit of rubber banding there. I'm, you know, always a fan of that. <laughs> little home screen page indicators there. That is pretty slick. Okay, let's say we go to Edge here. Okay, so then everything just moves over when this screen occupies stuff. Okay, browse on both screens, we could do that. But now I could even open up OneNote and now I can browse the web and do OneNote. Oh, I gotta sign in? No, I'm pretty sure I have an account, but I don't wanna sign in just to take notes quick. Okay, so I did some mining off camera and I just ended up connecting to my iPhone's hotspot because for some reason it will not connect to my Wi-Fi network, so. That is what we're doing. And while I was doing that, I was just practicing using the device in this like folded mode. 
You know, it feels pretty good, but like it is still pretty big to like use as a phone. But hey, I'm gonna keep playing with that and see what it's like. I also noticed on the lock, the lock screen here, we do have that flashlight button, but if you have the light facing your face, <laughs> just be careful. You're gonna beam yourself right in the eyeballs. Oh dang, son, we got mini laptop mode now. I just rotated it this way while I was typing in a login thing, and yeah, now the touch screen here becomes a touch keyboard, and we have the screen up here. That is pretty sweet. Let me see, oh, you swipe from that way. Yeah, uh, it's, do you go this way now? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Versatile. Okay, so I decided to convert into mini laptop mode for a bit more now, because I'm actually really intrigued by this layout. I just, it's just kind of fun just to even see the icons cross over the bezel in this mode. And it's even more fun when a keyboard comes up. Now I've noticed, um, well, let's actually test this out first. So we have the app here. Okay, browse on both screens. I was just seeing if I can actually get it to like, Go across both of these in this orientation. Oh. There we go. Okay, so skip sign in. Not now. Not now. Not. Asshole! <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. If I hold it in the middle, like how does it. So I can get it to go from the top and the bottom, but like, I guess I can't get it to spread across both. I guess that would be kind of stupid. There really wouldn't be a point in doing that, I suppose. Oh wait, hang on, Twitter did it? What? Oh, that's so cool. This is what I was trying to get Edge to do. Twitter did it. It just continuously scrolls from one screen to the other. Okay. Um, that probably also works really well when you're just using it like flat, like a tablet. But yeah, it, that, that's kind of, it does work in like mini laptop mode. That's uh, that's, uh, that's probably not what that mode is called. I'm sorry, again, raw first impressions here. But yeah, it's um, it just looks cool. I guess this is really like a Nintendo DS on steroids. Anyway, still learning some stuff. Yes, the dock here, you pull it. That was a great demo. You pull it like that, that's where you get all of your apps with your search bar as well. Surface audio, oh, that's a thing. So yeah, let's see, I installed Dropbox. There we go, Dropbox. Bon Appetit. Computer Clan wallpapers, there we go. Let's customize our device. Okay, that's cool, you can pan around and like adjust what part is on which screen, that's pretty slick. Okay, so since that's showing up, let's actually do that. And we can apply one for the lock screen and one for the home screen. Or, oh, wait, oh, you can set, uh, yeah, let's, hey, let's just do both, apply, and it should show up. There we go. There we go. Now we got our own pretty wallpaper on there. Lock screen and home screen, apply, boom. There we go, look at that. Now we have the beautiful Chicago landscape right there. But yeah, the, the color on the screen is pretty vivid. It's super high resolution and sharp. Everything looks super crisp, very cool. And I like that I can just stand it up and do stuff. You know, hey, let's let's get more versatile again. We can just freaking do this. We can just prop it up like nobody's business. Hey, watch a movie, you know? Just look at the clock. <laughs> you can just do whatever. That, that's honestly pretty slick. I can't wait to see where this goes in the future. N nice Nice start, Microsoft spins. Probably shouldn't do that. Don't want to scratch the screen. Whee! I'm not 100% sure what you would use this mode for, but yeah, you can use a single app in the landscape orientation across two screens. I mean, text and stuff is going to get cut off in the middle. Follow us for te anchorings. Uh, but yeah, that is indeed a thing you can do. And you can look at pictures and stuff that way, but uh, um, swipe down from the top. Oh, okay. Got it. But yeah, it does work. The versatility is there. Oh, we got some inception going on here. Not gonna lie though, it is pretty cool that I can just totally have an uninterrupted video experience right here while I do other stuff over here. So like, let's see, let's say I wanna, you know, go to Spotify. I don't have a Spotify account, but I could load that up and this doesn't get interrupted at all. Let's get out of there. Also, um, oh, and it still does have picture in picture support. It looks like it kind of glitched out 
for a second there. But uh, anyway, I was noticing these. I never tapped on them. They look like folders. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're not folders. They're like, they're grouped apps. So apps that you would open together frequently. Looks like they can be grouped together. And when you, I obviously don't know how to freaking get out of here. Uh, what the hell? Okay, that was a little weird. Okay, so I just wanted to test out the camera here quick and I will be doing more camera tests in my full review. So don't worry about that. But generally, I mean, the autofocus kept up and the picture quality looks okay, but it's stuttering. Like I can't tell if that's just the player glitching out or if it actually baked those like stutters into the footage. Um, but it's playing back at a terrible frame rate. <laughs> but picture quality does not look too bad, but dang it, that frame rate is garbage. So I'm guessing that one's a software bug. <laughs> hey Steve, how's it going? Macworld, oh yeah, first magazine. So I'm still just playing with it, trying to get used to some of the gestures and stuff, but I, I noticed like the main thing I have trouble with is like transforming it into different modes, especially when both screens are on. just what happened like right there. When you turn it, you're bound to accidentally touch stuff. It's like you have to do it kind of delicately if you don't want to accidentally trigger things. So yeah, decent start again. I will be doing a full review of this thing very soon. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. And let me know what you think about the Microsoft Surface Duo. Even if you haven't used one, I just want to know your thoughts. But also let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to dive into for the review because I'll keep that stuff in mind. But yeah, this is just gonna be fun to show around and show off to people. It is really slick looking. But yes, it is a first gen device, but it can only get better from here, right? Remember when the Microsoft Surface was that giant ass table? Hey, things evolve. One day, your computer will be a big ass table. If you like this episode, you know what to do. And if you wanna support the channel and get some other awesome perks, feel free to click that join button below, or if that join button doesn't work for some reason, there's a link in the description too. Thanks for sticking with me, catch the crazy, and pass it on.